Okay everyone, today I'm going to show you how to install Kodi onto the Amazon Fire TV. So here are the files we're going to need. We're going to need ADB Fire. We're going to need the two zip files for the build. And we're going to need Kodi 14.2. We can also use Kodi 15 if you wish to. Okay, so we're going to extract ADB from the zip file that's in. Okay, we should have this folder. I'm going to go into there. We're going to load this. It may take a little minute to open. Okay. Now on the Amazon Fire TV stick, we want to go down to settings. We're going to go across the system. We're going to go down to developer options. And we are going to turn on ADB debugging and apps from unknown sources. And then we're going to click OK. I'm going to go back from that one. I'm going to go up to about. Down to network. And then the IP address that we have there. We're going to use to set up ADB fire. So back over at ADB Fire, we're going to click up at the top here, Setup Device. We're going to call this whatever you want. You can, I'm going to call this one Fire Stick. Nice and simple. And now we're going to enter the IP address from the screen on the Amazon Fire TV. I'm going to click Save. I'm just going to click on description 2 on the drop down and then click back on the one that you've just created. I'm going to click connect. We've got to wait and watch for down here for it saying device connected. There we go. So now we're going to go install APK. I'm going to install 14.2. We're going to select that. I'm going to click open. I'm going to click yes. It's going to take a little time to install. And there we go. Once this pops up saying OK, and click that. Now if we go back to the Amazon Fire TV. I'm going to go back from that one, back again, and we want to go to Applications. And we're going to go down to Manage Installed Applications. If we go down, you'll see Kodi. We want to go Launch Application. Wait for it to do its first run. Okay, and there we go, that's Kodi installed. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to the home screen. And then if we go back over to the ADB fire on the computer, we are going to go Llama options and then we're going to go Icono TV Kodi replace program icon install Llama and link media center to program and before we do that we want to go back to the Amazon Fire TV and we're going to go down to 
hops. Top three. We're going to install ICO and OTV. So that's installed, go back to the home screen again and then go back over to ADB Fire on the computer and we're going to hit OK. Once this comes up, we're going to click OK. If we go back over to the Amazon Fire TV, we want to go down to settings applications manage installed applications Plama and we're going to click on that I'm going to click launch application I'm going to click accept and okie doke so we want to go all the way down to the bottom left hand corner I'm going to click OK and we're going to go import export data import from USB click yes and we need to click for stop launch application groovy now we go back to the home screen uh, we click the icono TV Click accept on that, and there we go into Kodi. So we hit home to go back to the home screen again. Go across, there we go, it switches over to the Kodi icon. Now, if we head back over to the ADB file on the computer, we're going to hit disconnect, and then we're going to hit connect. device connected again so we're going to go to push pull and delete files and we're going to go on the drop down menu and we're going to select SD card and we're going to click push now we're going to push over the two files for the build I like to push the GUI settings first as it's the quickest and we know we've got a good connection so we send that one open click yes file pushed click ok click push and click the chameleon family build so now this will take a little while to push over um, this works for any build you need to push over to the amazon fire tv not just mine and i will be doing a video showing you how to install in Kodi. Thanks for watching guys.